Apologies that this video is coming out kind of late. I was in the middle of my Mario Striker League game and, and I didn't want to mess up my momentum. But anyway, YouTube, team keep it clean. Before we get into this, two things. One, timing is everything. Um, but then two, shout out to the reporters today from Jump. Like from Jump asking the real questions from the beginning of the presser. The Ravens had a presser today, started off with John Harbaugh, and once I heard this, I was done. I was done. No, there ain't no offense to Mark Andrews, anybody else talking. I know it's probably still going on. By the time you see this, the press is probably not over, but I, I heard all I needed to hear, straight up, because they asked about Derek Wolf. What's the status with Derek Wolf? What's going on with him? And John Harbaugh was like, ah, uh, well, we reached an injury settlement with Derek Wolf. So he ain't with the Ravens anymore. And I believe anybody let me know if I'm wrong, but with an injury settlement, a player, they get released from a team, the team and that player agrees to a lump sum of money, and that player is a free agent. But when that player, because this is the only way that you can release somebody when they're still hurt is by doing an injury settlement. Um, they did it a couple of years ago. Oh, they did it with Kenneth Dixon. That's the most recent one I can remember. But yeah, they did it with Kenneth Dixon, the running back, because he had an injury and they, they released him on an injury settlement. So that means when you get healthy, you can sign with whatever team you want. They no obligations to the previous team. The previous team ain't got no obligations to you. Y'all are officially finished. And that is what the status is with Derek Wolf and the Baltimore Ravens. They are officially finished. And I think this comes as no surprise to anybody. This is actually one of the ways that I didn't see it going, but I wish I would have explored all avenues because it just makes so much sense. It makes, it makes so much sense. Uh, this was probably the best possible move for the Baltimore Ravens um, for them to sort of just wipe their hands with the situation. Um, not even wipe their hands with the player or the person because it ain't nothing like that because uh, these are real people. You got to remember that at the end of the day. Um, but wipe their hands clean of the situation because it was a situation that was just so tricky. It was just so confusing. Like we talked about in the video earlier today, I just did not know where this thing was going to go. And I was just like, I'm, maybe he's going to retire. But at the same time, you got two meals sitting in front of you that's guaranteed. It's, it's, it's yours. It's, it's sitting there. I don't think you're going to retire. You got two mil sitting there. And you you ain't even, to get that two mil, you ain't even necessarily got to play. Now, the question that I do have now, since Derek Wolf is no longer a Raven, what is going to be the implications to the salary cap because of this move? What's it going to be? Um, now, with Derek Wolf, uh, I mean, it is, it's done now. So, I mean, we, well, we can still talk about it. We got a couple minutes. Um, with Derek Wolf, uh, we talked about earlier, like if the Ravens would have tried to trade him, then they probably would have took like a conditional pick or something just to get just to get him off the team. Because I just felt like it, it was just that time. I feel like Ravens were just like done with the situation. But this is a different route. So I, I just wonder what the salary cap implications are going to be. Now, another thing that was asked of John Harbaugh, which I, I just I appreciate it because, again, they started off with this heat from beginning. They ain't wait to, oh, let's see how John Harbaugh is doing. Let's ask him about the family. And not that there's anything wrong with that, but they got right into it. So, Lamar Jackson's back. How was it? Was it one of those things where it's like, oh, okay, back to work? Or did you want to ease on? Hey, John Harbaugh said, hey, he's right back to work. It's right back to it. Let's get back at it. And so, okay, cool. But another thing, something that has been getting a little bit of buzz uh, over the past hour and a half, Michael Pierce. Today is the very first day of mandatory minicamp, and Michael Pierce was not there. Uh, Raven signed Michael Pierce to, what was the deal they signed him to? Is it a one-year deal or two-year? I think it's a two- or three-year deal, actually. I think it's a three-year deal. Uh, but whatever the deal is, they signed him to a deal. They, they brought him back. They're like, Michael Pierce, you being a Baltimore Raven was so nice that we're going to do it twice, and we're bringing you back. Welcome home. So Michael Pierce, um, he's, an he's abs an absentee. I can't even talk right now. My, my brain is an absentee as well. 
But Michael Pierce is an absentee. He is not there. And like I had a lot of people like wondering, like, man, what's going on with Michael Pierce? Are we seeing some of the same things from last time? Because if you recall the last time Michael Pierce was with the Ravens in the final year of his deal, the year before he became a free agent and went to the Vikings, uh, around mini cam, training cam time, Michael Pierce, he showed up out of shape. He showed up out of shape, and it was it was rough. It was rough. Um, so we hope that that's not the case now. But see, with John Harbaugh, with Harbaugh, initially he was like, hey, it's a personal thing with Michael Pierce. And I was thinking, okay, maybe it's, it's something with his family or something like that. Uh, no, da, da, da. okay, cool. Harbaugh said it's a personal thing. But then... He was asked about it again, and then he was like, I, it is what it is. And I was like, ooh, okay, now, uh, Jonathan Harbaugh, what's that about? Because again, it's not always what you say, it's how you say it. And so many times, especially with Jonathan Harbaugh, we have seen where his response is everything. His, his response tells you pretty much everything you need to know. And with Michael Pierce, I guess we'll, we'll find out when he comes back or maybe we'll find out maybe even later today or tomorrow if he's still gone. Um, but eventually, the reason that he was gone, it'll come up. It'll come up and it'll come out. Uh, hopefully, there ain't nothing crazy. Uh, hopefully, there ain't nothing serious. Um, but hopefully, it also ain't nothing as far as him being out of shape. Even though right now for, for minicamp, not that there is a good time to be out of shape, but minicamp, like, because cause you're getting ready to have a long break soon. You're getting ready to have a long break before training camp. Because when, when training camp hits, once you're really out there working, a lot of that weight is going to drop off anyway. It's going to drop off. Once you uh playing the game, a lot of the weight is going to drop off and whatnot. But it's training camp. So, But at the same time, there is still that level of concern. And, th and this is a lot of speculation right now. We don't know what the reason is. But if it so happens to be that it's for him being out of shape, um, it could be a slight area of concern because just because of what they went through with him before. Again, hopefully this is not what it is, but because of what they went through with him before, which was which why it was so con why it was so concerning uh back in I think what it was 2018 or 19 whenever his last year was. Um because it was his contract year. And you know like in contract year, that's when everybody that's when they really want to show out. They like, "Oh yeah, I'm about, I'm about to cash out, I'm about to get my bread. Let's go." But then he showed up in contract year out of shape, and it was like, oof, hold up now. Uh, so now, um, I think the area of concern would be, all right, Ravens brought you back. They got high hopes for you. If it is about him being out of shape, which I hope it's not, then it would be a little concerning because it's like, oh, you a veteran now? And this, nah, you shouldn't be doing that. But, hey, we, we don't know. We, we just really don't know. Um, they talked about, uh, I know Jeff Zrebic, he put it out there, Lamar Jackson, he said Lamar Jackson looking sharp, I know my guy Kyle Barber said that Lamar Jackson in his uh, first red zone drill, he threw a 10 yard touchdown to Rashad Bateman, Rashad Bateman, and speaking of Rashad Bateman, I think it was Jeff Zrebic, again, th they asked the real questions from jump, I guess these reporters, they were tired of this long hiatus. They ain't had, they ain't got to ask a lot of these questions in a long time. So they were like, we coming with it for John Harbaugh today from the beginning. He said, with you trading Hollywood Brown, what does that say about the confidence that you guys have in Rashad Bateman? He said, oh yeah, we got all the confidence in the world in Rashad Bateman. And then he, oh, he was like, hey, there goes Rashad right there. Hey, Rashad. Hey. So, Rashad Bateman just so happened to be walking by. It's a good time. And again, timing is everything. And we've been seeing all these pictures, all these videos of Rashad Bateman and James Prochet walking out together. Some people thinking, oh, that could be the Ravens number one and number two receivers. Could it be? We won't know till we know. We won't know till we know. Um, but Rashad Bateman is obviously going to be on the field a lot. Uh, James Prochet figures to be on the field 
significantly. Um, so we'll just see how everything shakes itself out. Um, but yeah, man. So shout out to the reporters for getting down to it. Shout out to Derek Wolf. Um, unfortunately, I, I just don't be like that fan. Don't don't do stupid stuff like some fans do. Don't don't take it to that level. Because that's never necessary. It's, it's never called for ever. No matter how much you love your favorite team and you feel like a player is trying to take advantage of the favorite team, all that other stuff ain't necessary. It ain't, it ain't never that serious. <laughs> it never is. Um, yeah, anyway, but shout out to Derek Wolf. Um, I still think he's probably going to retire, uh, but now this could be like a uh, sort of a, a little severance package for Derek Wolf. Uh, with the Ravens. Did he get over on the Ravens? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. She did say doctor's orders. Doctor's orders. They ordered him to have the second surgery just yesterday. And the previous one was in January. So, but I don't know. I, I just, with that whole story, that's something that completely went <laughs> right over my head. Because I heard a lot of people and saw a lot of people talking about it. Like, oh, yeah, Derek Wolf, he intentionally waited to have his uh, surgery Till uh, a certain point of the season so he wouldn't be healthy yet so he could get his guaranteed money and I, oh I think that's what it was he had they said he had a surgery late so he wouldn't be healthy at the start of the new league year because at the start of the new league year I believe that's when his salary for 2022 became fully guaranteed something like that whatever it is it's just this it's a mess but now that whole mess is it's over now it's a wrap so anyway team keep it clean appreciate y'all Love y'all. I'm about to get back to my Mario Striker League. Hopefully, Carter ain't play my game because I'm in the championship round and I'm trying to win. And that game is tough, but I love it. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And just like Michael Pierce was today, and Derek Wolf is forever when it comes to being a Baltimore Raven, we out.